everyone it is danny and welcome to this update video i hope you have been enjoying your sunday this is the start of a brand new week and with that there is a new area well not so new in the caribbean so this is in association with the same trough which opened up uh, that was previously known as potential tropical cyclone 22 so that airflow pressure became a trough and that trough extends across parts of the caribbean so here we're seeing that the national hurricane center is marking this with a low chance of development yellow shaded indicates a low chance of formation so we're going to be talking about that and whether we could actually see development as it loiters around but eventually drifts off to the west let's get straight into it and here we are looking at the general satellite imagery of the atlantic we see that it is quite festive off the african coast along the intertropical convergence zone that is where the trade winds of the north and south meet and sometimes we see activities such as this being produced loss of convection Even even across sections of South America, there is a lot going on as well, even into parts of Panama, Costa Rica. But uh, let's zoom further into the Caribbean. And for many areas, there hasn't been a whole lot of activity. So for parts of Jamaica, Cuba, the Cayman Islands, the Bahamas, uh, going into Central America, there hasn't been too much. It's a similar story across sections of the Lesser Antilles, going down to Trinidad and Tobago, including Barbados. And then uh, near Aruba, there is some convection. So you can let me know what... Uh, conditions have been like for you guys down in the abc islands but there has been some additional shower activity across portions of hispaniola haiti the dominican republic and there's a bit of activity moving into puerto rico at least some overcast conditions for some persons similar story for the virgin islands turks and caicos islands all that activity is making its way out and away from the area but what is marked is right in here and that area has been sustaining some convection so let's look at what the national hurricane center has here we can see that a 10 percent chance of formation is designated to this new disturbance so it is going to be loitering around but eventually drifting off to the west as we head into the next couple of days and so uh, i'm very hesitant about development i mean for one the formation chance is at 10 percent so there's a 90 percent chance as of now that we won't see much formation of this through the next week or so and let's look at conditions i mean the waters are very warm still let's look at that so on the sea surface temperature map here we can see 29 degrees celsius and at the minimum tropical cyclone development uh, would require around 26 degrees celsius so that is well on its way there but that's not the only thing yes there's all of that widespread evaporation but what happens in the atmosphere well on the map of the dry air here we can see that those areas of dry air are indicated by those yellow orange and red shadings now in portions of the western caribbean there is some dry air nearby so with that infiltrating the area we're likely to see dissipation of some of this activity uh, it'll likely struggle to sustain any thunderstorms and then as we take a look at the wind shear map those red lines indicate unfavorable shear yellow means neutral green means favorable that means those upper level winds aren't too strong to displace and cut off those thunderstorms uh, thus inhibiting significant development but take a look at the south caribbean the shear is actually conducive right now to allow for something to try to get itself together so we'll definitely have to watch that area to see what will become of it and even if it does not develop once it is sustaining enough activity and drifts toward the west that can mean a lot of rainfall for portions of central america so there can be changes guys and uh, I mean, I'm not expecting much to become of this area as of right now, but it's worth watching because it is uh, so close to land. It's not like we're talking about something that is out there by itself across the Atlantic, just loitering around. If this area is going to be sustaining activity and moving in, then we could see a lot of heavy rainfall and flooding mudslides as well being unleashed as what we have recently seen in the Dominican Republic. I'm not saying it would be that bad if the system is going to be making its way inland. I'm not saying that, but uh, just saying it doesn't have to develop to produce dangerous conditions so we'll have to keep an eye on it of course i'm here to do that for you so stay tuned for my upcoming videos and uh, speaking of you can go ahead and check out my latest upload on my second channel weather extras where i have posted a video talking about the possibilities of a december caribbean storm so you can go ahead and check that out guys but that is what i wanted to share with you in this evening update and i hope that you found it to be quite informative however if you have any questions as always please leave them in the comments i'll respond when i can and remember to always be weatherwise